Okay. Eric. Okay. Eric, E R I C, O T N, O T J E N, and I am part of the Sea World Rescue Team. What happened? What did we have? So this is a pretty unique situation. We don't often get a call about a sea lion uh, on the freeway. So this was a uh, kind of an emergency. So we got out here as fast as we could. We don't know exactly how we got here, but uh, this animal has been in our rescue facility before. Uh, was rescued in early November from Harbor Island Drive, was released shortly after, and has been showing up in kind of odd situations and spots since then. This is the weirdest though. Miles inland. So we're about three miles inland and we are miles inland. We're just past right around the 15. So I mean, this is really unusual, but uh, we're just glad that we were able to get here before anything weird happened and anything bad happened. It was this is a pretty cool rescue actually. So feels good. Now more than likely, the sea lion came up Troyes Creek. Uh, maybe I don't. I have no idea. All I know is that the the CHP said that he crossed the lanes. So he's. He's got some, uh, he's brave. <laughs> very, very lucky he didn't get hit. Very lucky. And it is a male sea lion? Yes, he's a male. This is definitely a story about like a wayward sea lion. That's, that's yeah, like, yeah, we've, we have had wayward sea lions uh, over the years, you know, restaurants. We've even had them on the east side of I-5, but this is pretty far up. We've had them on golf courses. This is probably the most dangerous situation we've had one in, at least in a long time. So. We're just glad that we were able to get out here and uh, and take care of things. Oh yeah, he's a big animal. He weighs 200 something pounds. So if he gets hit by a car, that car is going to be in trouble, and everybody around him. So. And it's a young sea lion. He's a juvenile, sub adult, somewhere in there. Anything you like to add, sir? What's that? Anything you like to add? No, we just want to thank the uh, CHP for giving us a call. All the all the drivers that were going by that saw a sea lion on the freeway. The, who's, who's ever heard of that? But thank you everybody for calling and getting a hold of us. And that's how we that's how we were able to get this guy and, and give him the help he needs. Is this a story for the record books? Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah, this we want to be telling the kids about tonight. Thank you for your time, thank sir. You. All right. Good morning, sir. If you could please tell us your name, spell your last name, and your position. Salvador Castro, CASTRO, Public Information Officer, California Highway Patrol. Okay, uh, first one for the books for you. What happened this morning? So at about 9.40 in the morning, we got a call of a, a sea lion or seal in the uh, right lanes of the eastbound 94, just uh, west of the 805. Uh, several calls putting out that he was that the, uh, the animal was trying to cross the road. By the time we uh, got to the location, he was in the, uh, in the center median of the uh, 94 East West of the 805, luckily we were able to get a, a quick response from SeaWorld and get the animal safely secured and on its way back to SeaWorld. Doesn't happen too often. Doesn't happen very often. Uh, I think it's the first for me seeing a, a sea lion or a seal on the, on the freeway. And we're about three miles from the bay and it probably came up Troy's Creek. It could have. I mean, uh, I don't know where it's tracked from, but um, it's it's something that we don't see every day. Uh, so it, it's something different. Did the CHP have to do a traffic break? Uh, we ran a few brakes to slow down traffic, uh, just so the sea lion wouldn't uh, could safely uh, uh, doesn't get scared or uh, and uh, start moving back into the traffic lanes. Okay, anything you'd like to add, sir? Uh, no. Thank you so much for your time. Okay.